I'm Songyang Longguest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make peach glazed chicken. I made this dish about like five years ago. I just came up with this idea because I love peach. There's lemon chicken, orange chicken, why not peach chicken, right? They even name it so cute, peach chicken. <laughs> so let's get started. First, we are going to cut our peaches and grill on an indoor grill pan. So just cut it into half and take the pit out. They come up pretty easy and cut the half peach into four pieces. I'm using yellow and white both peaches because I cannot make my mind which one I like better. <laughs> right now, California is a peach season, so they are super duper sweet and crunch and just amazing flavor. So I'm not gonna add any salt and pepper or olive oil to coat this thing to grill. I already seasoned my indoor grill, so it doesn't need anything. I'm just gonna grill as it is. Grill the peach about two to three minutes each side over medium high heat or until you see this nice grill mark on them. Meanwhile, peach is grilling is a perfect time to prepare your chicken. You will need two boneless, skinless chicken breast cut into one by size, and I already have done it right here. And just set aside, and let's chop up three cloves of garlic and slice one large size shallot. We are going to saute garlic and shallot with the chicken in the cast iron pan. All right, I think my peaches are ready, so let's remove them from the grill. Now heat your large skillet over medium high heat and add two tablespoons of cooking oil. Let's add the garlic and the shallot. Season the garlic and shallot with a little pinch of salt and pepper and saute them about two minutes or until the shallot gets really softened. Then add chicken. Season the chicken with half teaspoon of salt and quarter teaspoon of black pepper as well. Saute until chicken is nice golden brown outside and fully cooked inside. About five to six minutes. So while the chicken is cooking, let's prepare for the rice to serve with our delicious peach chicken. Uh, personally, I think this sesame rice goes the best with peach chicken. You will need two cups of cooked jasmine rice, but you can serve with just regular white rice or any type of your favorite fried rice too. And for this recipe, you can actually use white rice, brown rice, or even quinoa. Any grain will work. So in here, we will need a two green onions, finely chopped, and add chopped green onion into the rice. Instead of green onion, you can use cilantro or Italian flat parsley and those fresh herbs. Let's add one tablespoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds, nice nutty bite, pinch of salt, about half to quarter teaspoon, it's depending on how salty you like your rice to be, and some black peppers. And just mix everything together. Oh, by the way, my rice was just cooked, so they were super hot. So they will absorb all this flavor really well. And I want rice to be still warm when I'm eating with the chicken, you know? So it's not like a rice salad, it's just more like a... Some people thought this was fried rice, but it's not fried rice. <laughs> Sesame rice is done, I'm just gonna set aside. And I think my chicken is done cooking, so I'm going to take out from the skillet. I took out chicken because I wanna make nice peachy glaze into the same pan. And chicken breast tends to be overcooked if I just create all the glaze into pan together. But if you are using chicken thigh, you can skip this part. So. Now let's add one and a half cup of peach nectar into the same skillet along with four tablespoons of peach preserves. They are going to create this intense peach flavor. It's crazy good. And also don't forget to season with salt and pepper to your taste. Deglaze the bottom of the pan with your wooden spoon so the goodness will come out to the glaze. Bring it to boil and keep boiling about three to five minutes until this glaze become really nice, glossy and thickened. Now let's drop this chicken into the glaze and coat it evenly.
All right, chicken, rice, and peach, all it's done. But it's something missing for my taste, which is something fresh and crunch. So I'm going to top with little this romaine salad right on top with the chicken. So I'm just going to cut one by size this um, artis artisan romaine lettuce because it's really nice and crunch. You can use the iceberg as well or regular romaine lettuce and into the romaine lettuce. Radish. <laughs> into the romaine lettuce, what I'm gonna do is add about quarter, like not even quarter, maybe like a little small drops of lemon juice, kind of brightened up like this. Just like that, perfect. And just toss it with the lemon juice. So it'll be nice and crunchy, super bright bite with this nice rich chicken. Okay, so let's serve. This is how I like to serve. Pour the rice into the bottom of the plate and place the romaine lettuce right in the middle, just like so. Mm hmm. Looks really good already. Since it's a little too far, bring it over here so I can top with chicken. My chicken right here. Oops, it's hot. Just right on top. Ah! This is like a treat for me. More chicken, please. With extra glaze. Yes! Oh my goodness. That's what this chicken makes me feel like right now. Finally, serve with this grilled peach. You can just like place really nicely around and arrange them, but I like little like, you know, random. <laughs> That's kind of my style. So I'm gonna just put it randomly here and there. Nicely show off all this grill mark. Guys, this is the summer, summer Asian at home we are talking. This is freaking amazing. Mm -mm -mm. If you have a leftover grilled pitch, Eating with like a little yogurt and drizzle of honey. Oh my god, dessert is ready. I cannot wait to dig in. Are you with me? This used to be. I don't. I don't care what he's saying right now. I just wanna eat it. Your signature dish. This is like one of the first things you made, and she just made it and made it, and we ate it and we ate it. And you know how long it's been since we've had this? I don't know either. That looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. This is actually my style of cooking. Not a traditional style, not a Chinese takeout, not Korean. This is my Samyang longest food. Mm. First time I she saw put the romaine lettuce on, I was like, what are you doing? Put romaine lettuce on that hot rice and chicken. Orange glaze, I did. Orange glaze. Peach. Because it can be the peach and the chicken and the glaze. It can be like kind of a little too sweet and overwhelming. But then, bam! The romaine with the lemon juice is cuts off and balance everything. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's so good. This is a peach, peach dent and this cabbage patch dent. <laughs> oh, you should go check out the original recipe that she did this one. That hair though. <laughs> if you think about it, none of this is really Asian. Mm -mm. <laughs> There's not one thing in there that is Asian. Mm -hmm. I inspired from lemon chicken, uh, orange chicken, or the food of the chicken. Cheer food. <laughs> if you liked my peach chicken, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and idea of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching us today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sangyong Longast, and this is Asian at Home. And I will see you next time. Bye! Mwah.